team with limited resources, dreaming about a racing revival of one of the world's most iconic brands, Jaguar. Die Marke hat eine extreme Historie im Rennsport. Jaguar war immer ein Stand für Sportlichkeit. Und wie können wir diese Sportlichkeit wieder in das Image von Jaguar aufleben lassen? The proverbial blank sheet of paper as our starting point. A team of formidable partners at our side. Our vision to make this spellbinding sports car a veritable racer. Mission impossible. Ja, versuchen Sie einmal zu starten. the car was good and we were improving the setup step by step with my teammates. So obviously P3 right now is good but first the session didn't finish and second uh, knowing a little bit how here works uh, a lot of people will be hiding a little bit uh, the situation so I think we still have a bit of margin to gain. was fantastic. The biggest pleasure is not only the result but also the fact that we were improving the car heavy session. We never did a mistake in the setup, we just find the solutions with the engineers and my teammates and we could always find a couple of tenths more in every change we made and put it all together today. So, so far it looks uh, very good, the car was fantastic to drive, one of the best cars I've driven in my GT car here so far for sure. I had also a very good strategy because to be fair I was completely alone for two laps and this is what uh, you want to have in 55 uh, cars field like this one. Obviously second is good, but now my focus is already on this afternoon because it's a long race and we have to execute everything well because there's you know pit stops, three hours, the car has to, to stay in one piece. Eleven different brands on this 54 strong grid. Jaguar on the front row. Well, 
well for sure before on every race uh, there is a bit of tension for me personally it doesn't matter in which place I start uh, obviously it's a special feeling for to have the Swiss flag in the front row today I both for me and for the team so we hope to keep it there A three-hour sprint is about to get underway. The pace car, as it is, peels into the pit lane. On the front of the grid, there, Miguel Molina in the Ferrari, alongside of Alex Fontana in the Jaguar. Mauro Engels on his toes in the blue Mercedes. Look to accelerate away as the lights go green and we go racing for the first time this year in the Blancpain GT Series Endurance Cup. coming down, Alex Fontana coming back at Molina. Oh, he got there, I mean, he was got way, way, way off the racetrack. Fortunately, again, we go full course yellow. It is indeed a full course yellow to neutralize the race. Green flag, green flag. Go, go, go. Mercedes oh. on the program, gets past. Alex Fontana, where were you? We lost places at the full course yellow. I mean, it's nobody's fault. We're trying our best. And uh, let's see where we end. We're still uh, leading the Silver Cup, which is important for us. And let's see how we go. Right on board with Maxi B, Maxi Book coming out of the Valiante Ascari. Now both up the curb and a good exit here gives you that run down to the Parabolica. Now will Book challenge on the way in or will he line up to have a go down to the Retafilio? He's going to have a look on the inside. Adrian's out here with a really tough guy behind him. Well, no, it's not. Look what's happened to Adrian Zag. He's just. I, 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 He's gone into limp homo. And there's the Jaguar coming into the pits. Silver Cup wound by Emil Frey. made it and the whole team has, uh, has, has done a great job. We had to wait for a long time for, for this result and this is just in the end uh, it, it pays out if you develop and work hard uh, for that and I'm very happy for the whole team.